What's going on everyone? Uh, welcome to Motley's Investor Circle. Today's video, we are going to talk about NEO and the announcement they made today. So let's see the format. So we will look at exactly what is this news, the chart analysis, um, and then I'll give you a few thoughts on price predictions and where I'm thinking of maybe buying. So um, let's start. Those of you that uh, don't know who NIO is, it's actually a Chinese automaker uh, headquartered in Shanghai, uh, manufacturer uh, specializing in designing and developing EVs. And this was actually founded in 2014. Um, so what is the big news? Well, it's actually that they announced the NIO day uh, date uh, to be January 9th. So that is actually right around the corner. And uh, so let's go through this article. Uh, NEO shares, which have seen a lot of momentum in recent weeks, are nicely set up for the new year with the delivery of date due in early January and the annual NEO day delivery January 9th. So what happened? The annual NEO date event in the past has served as a platform for new product and service launches to catalyze strong stock moves. Well, an invite NEO share <coughs> with Benzinga and includes some information that's already public include <coughs> venue and a generic whatever that is right so what is the big news all right the big news i think is going to be the date they are on track to uh announce a few launches at the end including its first ever steam deck and this would be the company's fourth mass produced model with speculation suggesting it will likely have a coupe design like the audi a7 and i love the audi a7 it's also believed that the company could start mass manufacturing the model by the fourth quarter of 2021. And that's right around the corner as well. Um, they are also expected to announce a 150 kilowatt battery pack that will likely increase the range of its EVs to over 900 kilowatts. And I think that's really big news. So the new pack is expected to be compatible with all existing NEO models. <coughs> And then upgrade to NEO's advanced driver assistance system named MT 2.0 is also expected to be unveiled at the end of next year. It will likely feature LiDAR technology. And this could actually help pump all the lighter uh, stocks as well, like uh, 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 Luminar and uh, the other two stocks that I forget the names of. But uh, this will be a good catalyst for the lighter um, stocks as well. Uh, the company will also announce its second generation battery specifications, and that's pretty cool. So, why is it important? Investor expectations in the run-up to the event could li lift uh, NEO stock shares, which have been ran down below their all-time highs reached back in November. First up is the company's deliveries, update for December, which is due in early January, and that can be scary because... Um, a lot of the investors in Wall Street have high expectations for, for these numbers. And even with them um, delivering well, it could mean that they don't um, impress the investors and this could drop the price. Um, so the price action for today was actually down about uh, 1.92. Um, 1 um, but it actually closed lower than this today. Um, so I think this is a uh, very good catalyst. Uh, it's setting us up for a bounce though. And uh, with that, we can actually start looking at the chart. So the price action for today was actually uh, about 3.74% um, today, but it actually ran back up 0.77% uh, in the after hours. Um, and this is actually on the daily chart. So we can actually do a price um, prediction here by looking at uh, where is it? So let's just run down the first um, the daily chart so or the in, in, intraday chart you can see this is all the act after hours it's actually coming com com coming back up you can kind of tell it's forming like a cup well, not really a cup but I guess if you zoom in let's do a five you might be able to see it better it looks like it's forming a cup here. 
a, a cup so we could probably get a handle and then we could come back up to about 26 it looks to be a resistance here 46 47 and I've actually traded this before um, and this 47 resistance is very tough but let's go back to the one minute chart and we can actually see that on the open it just tanked we, we opened at 46 um, 67 and it just tanked all the way down but it looks to have found a bottom about like I would say even even I would I would average to about 44 oops I think that's a wrong tool it didn't do a crossbar so yeah I think our bottom it, it, it we seem to be moving around this moving average, which is about 44, right around 44. And uh, we can tell that <clears throat> towards the end, we actually ended up crossing the moving average here, the uh, 180 moving average. We do have, um, we do have tomorrow, um, but I actually think that these catalysts are setting us up to, um, what is this here? This is, this is old price prediction. So we have, let's say we had that 44, which was about like, uh, let's go back and do that real quick, sorry. We said it was moving to about like right there, right? So let's go back to the one month. It's not saving my chart, okay. So we know that it's about 44.04. Okay, so let's just go. So you can actually see that it's kind of isolating and coming down. And actually, we could probably do a wedge here. This looks like it could be a full flag. Um, let's do a line. See if we can line this up. Uh, so we could be we could be coming in towards KPOY, but it looks like. And I might be wrong here. Let me just cancel that because this one's going to be real quick. Oops. Um, this one might be a better analogy. Uh, it would be like to right here. So that lines up right here. And so it looks like we, we're going to, we're wedging. We're wedging really close. So this could be the bottom. I think this could be the bottom right here. And we'll probably we'll probably break out this wedge is looking really good um, just get rid of this margin it looks like it's wedging itself so it could be another day or two uh, until we break out and that would be very important uh, my long price prediction will probably at least come back up to here to 57 so that's my price prediction there. Now, as far as uh, if I'm getting in on the stock, I actually added shares to start my position today. Um, I just don't see a lot of downside right now. Uh, other than all of the drama going on with the Chinese market, um, I feel like the these I, I feel like this is actually just bouncing off this trend line right here, and we could probably. If we can break this, we could probably squeeze back out. Um, and the RSI level, if you take a look at the RSI, we're 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 we're, we're chilling right now. We're like at about 40, so we're in the very middle. Um, so this could actually go either way, but I, I'm very positive just because of the catalysts that are coming up. I think that we um, could squeeze back up to about 57, and if break that um, with the sedan being released. And uh, all the new the, the battery announcements coming out. Um, hopefully, the deliveries are good. Um, but I, I'm very, very excited about what's going to happen with the price action in the next couple days. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the, today's video. Uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys uh, next time.